Lucas Media. Just got through watching the Baylor USC game, and I just saw Juju Watts Watkins keep go off for thirty points, six rebounds, four assists, a steal, and four blocks. Now <laughs> they beat Baylor. And the reason I'm laughing because I saw an 18 year old ice the game. You could tell it's clearly tell she was the best player on the floor. And she's averaging 26.7 rebounds, three assists a game. And I mean, and she just been going off. I mean, I it's so many different stats. I mean, she dropped the I remember when she dropped 51 against, I believe it was Stanford. Yeah, yep, 51 against Stanford on um, this past February. And all I was thinking was, what is going on? I'm sorry, Juju Watkins might be the best basketball prospect, American prospect, since LeBron James. And I'm going to tell you why. We haven't seen nobody. Like, first of all, let's make this clear. Juju is NBA ready now right now she could go to the league and contribute but you've never really seen nobody live up to that now you could argue anthony davis at kentucky but he was on what the number one class coming in come on now juju was out there going off as an 18 year old living up to it and i remember her and her and Bronny was at sierra canyon and Bronny had all the hype, but I'm like, wait a minute, ain't Juju the national player of the year in her class? No more player of the country. I mean, she kind of had a buzz, but you can tell people are now starting to notice her. And I wouldn't be surprised if she carried this team to a national title, honestly. But we really got to have this conversation. Is she the best basketball prospect since LeBron? American prospect. Don't come on here talking about Luca and Giannis and no, I'm talking about American prospect. She has lived completely up to the hype. You see all these players all the time. You know, they go to the Kentuckys, they go to the Dukes, but you don't see them doing what she did. And mind you, they be having all these five star recruiting classes over and over and over and over again. But I think this is great. The WNBA should be happy because, what, four years, three, four years? They're going to have a, a generational, generational, generational prospect. Yes, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, you can tell they're going to be great NBA, WNBA players, but I'm sorry, at this moment, I got Juju as the best basketball player in college, college women's college basketball, and arguably all of college basketball at 18 years old, her first year. They said that she that they helped will um, first time USC been to the elite eight in thirty years for women. So I mean, I'm sorry, I don't know how she's not gonna be national player of the year. I get it, Caitlin Clark, phenomenal, but I, I'm I'm sorry. And I remember Gil made a he had talked about how he got Juju over Caitlin right now. I'm, Juju has a. a her play translate right now to the WNBA. But I can see, I see people like her and Caitlin. Like I see Caitlin and Angel going in there and open up the door. But I'm sorry, if Juju keep playing like this, if she can get on a big market team, it's over. <laughs> they going to start getting paid, honestly, in women's sports. But yeah, UFC, y'all, y'all got y'all a superstar. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?